Okay, so we'll go back to Python and uh, after we create our model, I'm just gonna set up the code so we can export that model to a text file. So the first thing we need to do is uh, create a variable to store the name of our new test data set. And that's in our working directory. And I'll just copy and paste the name here. Okay, now I'm gonna read in uh, all of those test data points. So I'm going to open up the file for reading as F. And then within that, I'm going to do the usual thing. I'm going to read in the file and then I'm going to split that data using the split lines function. And I'm going to pop the first entry. Uh, as usual, our first entry contains the header information. So we want to just get rid of that line. Uh, so now I'm going to create two arrays. This is really similar to what we did up here, but instead of a feature and a target array, I'm going to have a feature array. That's my latitude and longitudes for my test set. So test feature data. And I'm also going to store the ID data. So I'm not going to use this in the training, but I want to keep a reference of all the IDs so I can export that to my um, trained data or to my predicted data set. Uh, so now I'm going to cycle through all of the entries. I'm going to split each entry by the semicolon to extract the data. I'm going to wrap everything in a try accept loop like always to make sure if I have any errors in my data, it doesn't error out. And I'm going to uh, append to my test feature data the latitude, which is in the second entry, and the longitude, which is in the third entry in this array. And again, I'm going to export that as an array. And then into my ID data array, I'm going to just append the first entry, which is the ID. Okay, so this is really similar to what we did up here, actually. And then if there's an exception, we're just going to continue on to the next piece of data. Okay, so all we did there is just read in our test set of data. We read in our latitude to launch tube, which we're going to use to make predictions about price. And then we've stored the ID so that we can match them up to the grid later. All right, so just like before, um, I want to create this uh, X data and I'm going to call it X test now. So before we had X training, X validation, this is going to be the data that I actually uh, make my predictions on. So X test will be a NumPy array. So here I'm using the same function NumPy as array. I'm going to put in my test feature data array and specify that it's a floating point number type. Okay, so now I'm going to actually use my model to make predictions on my data. And before I do that, I want to apply the same scaling to my test set. Okay, because here, in order to make the algorithm work as well as possible, I scaled all my x data and I actually kept a reference to how that scaling was done. So that I can apply now the same scalar to my uh, testing data, okay? Just to make sure that both data sets are scaled the same exact way and the model can actually relate both data sets. I'm just gonna copy and paste and here I'm gonna say x test scaled, scalar.transform x test. Okay, same basic idea. Now I'm gonna create a new variable called prediction. And I'm gonna set that equal to model.predict, so I'm going to call the predict function of my model that I trained up here. And I'm just going to feed in all of my scaled test data. Okay, so I'm just going to hit run now to make sure that the prediction is working correctly. And we can take a look at what that prediction array will start to look like. Oh, up here I made a mistake, I actually have to put in read not data. So data is the file read into Python. I'm going to hit run again. So it's going to run through this code. It's going to 
uh, train the model based on these parameters that we validated earlier. And it's going to apply that model to our new test data. Okay, so let's look at our the prediction variable. It's a type uh, numpy array. We basically fed in this numpy array into the prediction function, and then we got this prediction. So we can also look at the array itself. And if we type it here, numpy gives us a kind of a condensed version. And you see that it's a type array, it's a one dimensional array, and here's just listing values. And these are actually the predicted rental prices for each of our test uh, locations.